Hey guys, George at Soundtracks here. This week we're going to take a step back. We've been talking a lot about some advanced concepts and really manipulating the decoder's behavior to get some really cool aspects. But what we're going to do is we're going to step back a little bit and look at the fundamentals. So today we're going to talk about horn selection. So let's get started. Now once you install your Tsunami 2 decoder into your model, or if you get an Athern ready to run model with the Tsunami 2 installed, you're going to have a selection of up to 44 different air horns to choose from that you can simply select by changing a CV. So on this aftermarket install with an EMD prime mover, I've actually turned the prime mover volume down a little bit so we can hear the rest of the sounds. But when I blow the horn, the default horn will play which is the horn value CV120 set to a value of zero. So to find this, we're going to go to the website under the manual section and select the EMD sound selection reference sheet. And with that, you're going to see that a value of zero represents a Nathan K3LA air horn. So this three chime air horn will play by default whenever you plug in your decoder. And of course you have long and short versions of each. Now when we want to change that, we don't need to spend an hour looking on a computer or downloading files. We simply make a CV adjustment. So CV number 120 again is where the horn selection changes. So in this case, if we look at our reference guide, we see that we want to have the Nathan P5A air horn play. So that's going to be horn selection number 14 according to the chart. So now I simply program on the main CV number 120 to a value of 14. Now when I blow my horn, you have that P5A sound. Now you have access to all of the 44 different air horns on your Tsunami 2 decoder. So be sure to check out your references when it comes to your model. Make sure you match up the prototype and select the air horn from the list. Now one of the other cool things you can do, we've talked about this in the past, is adding echo or reverb. Now by default, there's a very slight little bit of reverb that's added to the air horn sound. So when I blow the short horn, you can kind of hear a little bit of that tail off as it resonates off an adjacent surface. But now in CB233, I'm going to go ahead and select a heavy echo. So that's CB233 to a value of 4. So now when I blow my horn, you can hear a whole lot more echo. So this allows you to give some more depth to your horns. Now the last thing is the percentage of that air horn reverb and echo that's fed back in. And this is adjusted by CV161. A value from 0 to 255 represents 0 to 100%. So adjust these values and see what sounds right for you. Now for more information, please visit our website at Soundtracks.com. Be sure to check out the user's manuals, the Tsunami Steam, Diesel, and Electric User's Guides for all the details explained in English terms on how to use the decoder and all the features that are built in to get the most out of your decoders.